Hello, I'm Callum Webster, I'm a PhD student at the University of Kent in Dr. Rock Shepherd's lab. This is just going to be a brief overview of some of the work we're currently doing on cytochrome BD oxidases. So cytochrome BDs, they are terminal oxidases that are found in several pathogenic bacteria, such as Mycobacterium tuberculosis and E. coli, for which the structure is shown here. They have been shown to be important in host colonization as they provide increased resistance to reactive oxygen and reactive nitrogen species such as nitric oxide, peroxy nitrite and hydrogen peroxide. They are interesting targets for um, potential antimicrobials as they are unique to archaea and bacteria, plus the structure has been solved by cryo-EM as shown here for E. coli. This structure of cytochrome BD1 consists of two main subunits, SID A and SID B, along with a couple of single uh, alpha helices. Uh, quinyl will bind to the quinyl binding site around here, involving the flexible Q-loop. Then electrons are transferred through the three different heme groups onto oxygen, which is reduced to water at the heme D site. I'm looking at uh, screening potential inhibitors of uh, cytochrome BD1s, uh, and there's several different targets for these inhibitors. One could be the quinyl binding site, which I'm focusing on first. Also, there's the oxygen entry route, and potentially the regions between the different subunits. And so to do this screen, I'm using molecular docking software called Autodoc-Viner, which allows me to dock thousands of ligands from ligand libraries at a time uh, into firstly the quinyl binding site, and I started with FDA approved drugs. And this leads to uh, figures such as these being produced. Uh, on the left is ubiquinol 8, the native quinyl used in E. coli, docked into the quinyl binding site. And on the right is a known inhibitor, pure siding A, also docks nicely into the uh, quinyl binding site. Uh, initial trials have shown some promising candidates which will now have to be screened in the lab and so an assay is needed for this. Um, a high throughput fluorescent assay has been trialled which is a commercially available assay and this was trialled on a, another known inhibitor TTFA shown here docked into its uh, binding site. Uh, this assay is a, measures oxygen consumption and it was used membranes isolated from E. coli species that only has cytochrome BD1 expressed as the terminal electron acceptor. And here's the results for it. You can see it generates an IC50 of around 70 micromol for TTFA, showing this is quite a weak inhibitor, and this was already reported for TTFA. This assay should be able to be used for inhibitors designed for other binding sites as the problem with the quinyl binding site is that some of the inhibitors are likely to also bind to the mitochondrial electron transport chain uh, complex three. 